so i think uh, this move will be a very good uh, opportunity for us to also really work directly with uh, such an industry partner a global tech giant and then we are we also can understand uh, and align our uh, curricula as well as our delivery mechanisms to line up uh, our undergraduate and postgraduate studies so that these people are uh, ready to join the workforce so i think it is the whole purpose of this uh, initiative uh, in the in, in the end ultimately our students will get benefited uh because they will get opportunities for them to uh, get internship work with these organizations and uh, uplift their skills and talent because most of the time there is a big gap uh, you know in our education system i mean traditionally it has been there throughout right we know that there you know what the industry expectation and what the academia produces there is always had been a gap but i think these kind of initiatives are very important for you to uh, reduce that gap and make sure that we produce uh work ready uh, people so uh one of the ways that you really need to kind of uh, focus is on the quality because uh, dr dan just mentioned you have maybe 35000 or maybe 1000 graduates coming out and maybe there are other colleges as well but what really matters is uh, the quality of these graduates the output okay so this uh, quality is also of twofold right one is that whether these graduates have the foundational core skills that's exactly what we do in the sense what we look when we are hiring from uh, colleges right if you talk to uh, um, you know purchasers uh, like uh, you know praveen uh, they will uh, they they will let you know later that we do not even go for this fancy you know skills that you have developed having them is great but your foundational skills are mandatory uh overall the company um now going through a lot of transformation uh, as any company will do right so um i will touch base a little bit of uh, that because a lot of uh, articles in the uh, papers as well and sort of people are thinking probably uh, from sri lankan perspective uh, what virtus focus and overall company perspective what virtus focus is our students have been uh, getting themselves employed at virtusa for a number of years from a number of different programs that we have offered here including the bcs qualification the bit degree and of course there are after our uk qualifications as well so our students have basically been trailblazers from the beginning itself but in terms of quantity maybe less so in this partnership what we expect is to formalize the channeling of our students into virtusa so that ultimately you get the best opportunity to learn from an international level organization so most important thing that you need to have is a creator mindset right what can you do with the skills you have acquired within campus what can you do differently based on the domain you get domain understand you get in at work and more importantly i know you know we get, we get large companies like virtus and so on it functions very different from a startup okay um i understand the startup culture is like okay let's try research and so on great that is great it's excellent we provide both aspects of that as well but one thing to understand is when you have when you define success right when you have made something very successful you'd want to repeat it okay and when virtus are being a company which is over 30000 people now strong how do you replicate that success okay you you can have one approach you can try the same startup approach again but then you have a great chance of failure 50% right